Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been a highly requested one for quite a long time. This is all of my Sicily favorites and must-haves from the line. I've tried a lot of Sicily products over the years, uh, but these are the ones that I go back to, that I repurchase. These are kind of like my core staples. And if you're looking to either try the line for the first time or expand what you've already tried, these are the ones that I feel are very consistent and just work really well for me. Um, some are newer discoveries, but many I've been using for quite a long time. So let's first start, let's first start with some makeup products. Now the Sicily Blur Expert, talked about this before, it is a, it only comes in one shade. So depending obviously on your skin tone, it could be slightly like a pressed powder for me. This is just like, I use it all over my face to help warm up my complexion. And some people have said this oxidizes on them. It does not on me. And for someone that's very fair, I was really thinking this could oxidize. It does not. And I just use it. It's not quite a bronzer, but it does just warm up my complexion and give me a little bit of color without, um, sometimes with bronzers, I can't dust bronzers all over my whole face because it'll be too dark. So this is perfect. And it also, literally blurs the skin. It's like a filter for the skin. It's absolutely amazing, gorgeous. Um, I fell in love with this instantly as soon as I started using it, um, but you may need to play around with it to figure out how best to use it for yourself. Another makeup product that I started, this is a recent discovery that I absolutely love, is the new um, Press powder, the mattifying and beautifying press powder. I love this. I have the shade Two Natural, and it's just a great press powder. It's not too flat though. It mattifies the skin without being flat or making the skin look dry. Your skin still looks luminous, fresh, but it just takes away any of that shine. It's very finely milled, um, so the powder is just so delicate which I love because it doesn't settle into fine lines or emphasize any fine lines or emphasize dry patches at all. All right. I, if you've been following my blog for any length of time, you may have heard me talk about before the Sicily Mascara. Now this is one of those products that it's a cult classic for them, but you got to know it. You got to know about it. And let me show you the brush because it is a weird. Okay. What is that? It literally looks like there's nothing on the brush. There is. There are little tiny bristles. It is almost literally like a like just a wand. Okay. This is the most amazing mascara, but you have got to learn how to use it. And when you first use it, you may not like it. I first used it and I was like, what is this mess? Like, how is this popular? Anyway. The um, PR girl at the time was like, give it a go. She's like, just keep using it, figure out the best way. You know, sometimes you have to just like work it into your lashes or figure out how best to get it onto the lash and work the comb and the, and the wand. It's, it takes some trial and error, but once I did, I was like, oh, oh, it was mind blowing. It is one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. It's luxe and dark and voluminous, and it just is fantastic. So um, if you have it and you don't like it, give it a go a few more times. Um, you've really got to like figure out how best to use it. Uh, I also really love the Fido Lip Twists. Um, number 11 is probably my favorite. It's actually what I have on today. It is gorgeous. This is like my lip color but better and it's really moisturizing it has like a medium coverage so not really full coverage but not super sheer feels like a balm very moisturizing and just lovely i mean is this color not i mean it's like an everyday lip color that will pretty much go with whatever eye look you're gonna do you could do browns on the eyes greens golds beige whatever this lip is pr pretty much gonna go with it um that's pretty much all in the makeup category. Like I said, I've tried other things. I like other things. However, these are core staples that I just uh, like non-negotiables, love them, love them, love them. Let's move on to some sun care because I 
I'm obsessed with two of their sun products. So the Tinted Sunscreen Cream, which to me is actually a makeup product because I use this as a foundation in the summer. Um, the only issue is it is, there's very limited shade ranges. And I do have to self tan with this because it is a little dark in the lightest shade one natural. Um, it's amazing. It gives, I mean, I'm talking for a tinted sunscreen, it gives insane coverage, but your skin looks velvety and gorgeous and it's water resistant and SPF 30. So if you're someone that likes to wear a little bit of something to the beach in the pool and listen, I, I mean, do live your best life. Wear a full face to the pool, wear nothing to the pool. Wear a, you know, gown to the grocery store, wear your pajamas to the grocery store. Like just, well, let's just live what we, like I wanna do what I enjoy doing and I encourage you to enjoy, to do what you enjoy doing. So if you wanna wear, you like more of a coverage, some full um, coverage, not full coverage, but you don't want like a little bit of nothing. This is a tinted sunscreen that you need and it is gorgeous velvety, beautiful. Um, and you can also wear it like not to the pool. I wear it as a regular foundation, not to the beach, not to the pool, just in the summer, like a regular day. Next is the Sunlea Age Minimizing Sun Care SPF 50 Plus. I've talked about this sunscreen for years. It is very expensive. Okay. So, I mean, I'm obviously doing a Sicily video. Everything is, um, at a higher price point. I get that. Some people are like, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I, so here's my thoughts on is, you know, are more expensive skincare worth it? At the end of the day, nothing. Skincare, nothing. I mean, medical life-saving procedures are worth going into debt for if they're going to save your life, but like skincare, makeup, nothing is worth going into debt for. So if it's exceptionally out of your budget, no, it will not be worth it because no, like a sunscreen is not going to change your life and be like, oh my gosh, that was really worth me skipping rent for the month. But if you do like to splurge on Lux products and you've been thinking about some of these things, yes, a lot of these are worth it. Um, this being one of them, many of you have purchased this over the years because I've shared it and you're like, okay, I didn't think you were really telling us the real deal. Um, <laughs> and then I bought it and I was like, whoa. So it's the creamiest, most luxe sunscreen that doesn't feel like a sunscreen. We're talking SPF 50 plus. It gives me great sun protection, but it feels like, so most times when things are like SPF 50 plus, I, I don't like the way those things feel on my skin. This feels like the most luxe moisturizer you've ever used. And it is sunscreen. So that's what I love so much about it. Obviously it's got anti-aging, um, benefits to the sunscreen. So it's like a skincare based sunscreen, but it's also gives you insane sun protection. Um, love that so much. All right. Obviously I was going to talk about the masks. If you want to, if you've never tried Sicily before, start with the, their masks because they are like a cult classic. They're the one of those popular selling products from the line. They're one of those products that you don't have to be, you don't have to use for like months and months and months to see results. Uh, masks are really fun products to try because it's more like instant gratification. My two favorites from the line are the Black Rose Cream Mask. Still, it is a cult classic for a reason. It's plumping, it's smoothing, it's brightening, it's luxe. And then the new Velvet Sleeping Mask. This is incredibly, it's a restorative, comforting. I like to use this as a tissue off mask. I use both as a tissue off mask. Um, those are my two favorites. I do really like the Express Flower Gel Mask. I finished it, I don't have it right now. And it's like a shot of water for the skin, so it's incredibly hydrating and really helps like put some water back into the skin. But those are my, my top two. Um, I also really love the Triple Oil Balm Makeup Remover and Cleanser. It is, they did a fantastic job in formulating this. It truly is a gorgeous cleansing balm. Removes makeup easily, really gives your skin a nice deep clean. Um, and makes your skin feel very soft and hydrated afterwards. Then, of course, continuing on the Black Rose love. The Black Rose line from Sicily is, so they have their Sicilia line, which is their like premium anti-aging line. It's very, and it's a very high price point. I've tried some of the products from the line. I like it. However, I love the Black Rose line. Still very pricey, but compared to the Sicilia, it's at a little more 
it's at like a midpoint in their range. Um, and I just find that the products are very consistent. They, I have just always loved them. The Black Rose um, Precious Face Oil and then the Skin Infusion Cream. Both are incredibly nourishing, hydrating, plumping. The oil is like liquid silk. Liquid silk. That's what it feels like on the skin. It's an oil, but it doesn't feel oily, greasy, nothing. It absorbs instantly. It's as if you put silk on your skin. The Skin Infusion Cream is plumping, smoothing, hydrating. This is really going to um, you know, nourish your skin, especially in the winter if you struggle with dryness or tightness or you need like extra moisture. Um, that one is a great one to use. Okay, the Hydro Global products. Um, the Anti-Aging Hydration Booster is my favorite out of the two. So there's the Intense Anti-Aging Hydration, it's like a little moisturizer, and then the Booster. I love the Booster. I mean, I, I enjoy them both, but if you're gonna get one, get the Booster. It is a really, it's like a thicker, like a gel texture. Uh, gives like a shot of water for the skin. Like great at putting moisture back into the skin. So your skin is feeling very dehydrated. Not necessarily if you need like, you know, if you need like a moisturizer, if it's feeling dry or uncomfortable, but if it's feeling dehydrated, like you can see the fine lines. Um, I mean, I think everyone's skin is probably a little dehydrated because we drink coffee, we stay up late. I mean, it's just our lifestyles. So um, are we drinking enough water? Uh, I know, well, I know I'm not normally, but I bought this new water bottle from Amazon. It is literally 64 ounces and it's like timed out. I'll link it below. It has times on it, so like 7 a.m., 9 a.m. So what you should drink by what time of the day. And to be honest, I have met my daily water intake goal with that water bottle ever since I bought it. And I never meet my, it's like I drink water throughout the day, but I don't ever keep track of like, am I hitting that 64 ounces? And I like this because I can see it like, oh gosh, I need to like drink a little bit more or like I've hit it for the day. So I'll link that below. But this is, um, like I said, great for dehydration and you want some like really great moisture into your skin. All right, body products, their Velvet Nourishing Body Cream is insane. So luxe, but really nourishing if your skin gets very itchy, if it's very dry, uncomfortable. This is, it's like cocooning your skin in a lot of love. It's just absolutely lovely. Um, so I've really been enjoying that. That is definitely something that I plan to repurchase. And then the last products are all hair. Uh, listen, Cicely has always been known for, um, in fact, I just took that out of the shower and I like, tilted it and like water came out. I just actually used the shampoo and conditioner on my hair today. Um, I love the restructuring conditioner and the revitalizing volumizing shampoo. Both have worked wonders for my hair. Uh, the pre-shampoo purifying mask. It's like a, it's like almost like a clay texture. I mean, it looks like, looks like a mud mask or something. I actually use it before I even get in the shower. So what I do is I literally just like part my hair. I showed this on my Insta stories, actually. I did it one day after I got back from Pilates. I literally just part my hair and I just do it on the parts, you know, like take it. It's like a little pointed um, tip and you just like put it right on your scalp. Uh, massage it into your scalp, leave it on for 10 minutes, and then get in the shower, rinse it out, do your shampoo and conditioner. Makes my hair really um, voluminous. My scalp felt very soothed, comforted. I just, my hair looked very fresh and bouncy afterwards. I, um, I have really uh, been enjoying this. And then of course, the final product, which I had no, I just did not see coming, is this brush which I've talked about before. Was it in my best of beauty? I don't know. But um, after I had Miles, my hair texture really changed. I My hair looks very smooth and it's very fine. I have a lot of hair, but it's very fine. So it looks smooth. It looks like it wouldn't not crazy. It does. No matter what shampoo and conditioner I use, it will get so knotted that I can barely get a brush through it. Um, I literally have to just like, in the shower, I use like a wide tooth comb when it's wet and try to comb it out with some conditioner in it. and the, But then when I get out and I dry it a bit with a towel or something, it's so hard to get a brush through it. And I ended up over the years, like, you know, my hair breaks or it's just, I'm pulling on it. I can't get anything through it. 
Uh, in fact, when I went to my hairdresser, she, I went to a, started going to a new hairdresser and she was like, your hair doesn't really look like it would get really knotted. Well, when she washed it, she tried to comb it afterwards and she's like, oh my gosh. And I was like, I, I know, I really have no idea. She's like, what? This is crazy. And I was like, I know. This brush gets through my tangles like nothing I've ever tried. I had like a wet brush. I've had a wide tooth comb. This brush is, I don't know what miracle. It, it's literally a brush, but it gets through my um, tangles better than anything I've ever used. So had to include that. Um, this is kind of a long video. I had a lot to say about these products, but I feel like they all need a lot to say because obviously they're pricey. They're definitely an investment, so I didn't want to just be like, I like this mascara because it's great. <laughs> I wanted to kind of go into why I like each product and um, maybe how long I've used each product so you know that there's a lot of thought in picking this group. Um, I may have forgotten something or may have finished something and I don't have it right now, but I think this is like my core group. So I would love to hear what your favorite uh, Sicily products are. If you've tried anything from the line, uh, leave me a comment below and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.